From delicious home-cooked vegan eat meals, to watching beautiful sunsets, and capturing breathtaking moments, I, Ashley Angel, visited my hometown, Cleveland, Ohio. This is where my heart resides. So I basically traveled over a thousand miles during Hurricane Irma just to get away, feel liberated and free for once. I took a road trip by myself and honestly it was one of the best things I've ever done. Going back home and seeing the beautiful nature that resides where I grew up was so heartwarming. I love pink and blue flowers, purple, it's so pretty. Hey guys, whoa, everything's just been knocking over lately. Um, I'm going to go to the park with my grandma for a little bit, maybe see some friends tonight. Um, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, so it's super exciting. I've been journaling, um, dream journaling, playing with my crystals, organizing stuff, decluttering, and then reading some tarot um, readings. <laughs> funny and just chilling and I will be vlogging at the park I just saw like the most beautiful sun um sunset yeah sunset um in Cleveland on like Lake Erie it was beautiful I have a picture that I could insert but it like the real thing was just it would net my phone sucks I have an old outdated phone so that's another reason to get a new one but it was amazing and it looked so red and bright and awesome. It was just crazy. I'm not going to do, I did my face because I'm going to walk around first and do some things. Then work out. That's why I'm in some workout attire. You know. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to vlog throughout the day. And hopefully I'll make it into like a little vlog for everybody. I'm so excited to like, I don't even know, just uh get some of my ideas and things that I'm doing out there on social media because I'm getting a lot of good feedback and I love you guys all so much my friends and family like super supportive and then like especially people I don't know that's the crazy part it's like whoa y'all give a fuck too that's awesome um but like I said I'll vlog later so I'll catch you guys on the flip side If this isn't beautiful, I don't know what is. Little babies. <laughs> okay. It's vlogging. We're about to go find out where this takes us. Whoa, that's trippy.
I'm trying to perfect my photography skills and going to Cleveland was honestly one of the best decisions because there's so much beauty in nature and like old places I used to visit as a kid and it was nice to revisit them and kind of see from a new perspective. Here you can see the roots which honestly it looks so artsy and beautiful and then there was also like rose petals all around it. I guess someone put it there, but it made it look that much more breathtaking. Um, and then it continues down the line to the waterfall, which was really beautiful. And I heard this time of year, it's not as much water as usual, but it's still really good. And I just wanted to capture a moment to share with you guys. And of course, I took some pictures of myself um, to post on like, Instagram and my blog. Showing you guys just one of the little spots that I used to go to as a kid all the time. I believe it's called Tinker's Creek and this is what it looks like. I have a few yoga pictures there. You can actually stand in, on the water and it's not deep at all, it's legit a rock that you would be standing on. It's really interesting. And it was very colorful. This is so dope guys. But that's why I love her. That's Grandma. Que bella. And look where we're at. The most beautiful with the most beautiful. Pues yo me conformaré con el vino 
We don't need meat on this town. <laughs> I'm taking over. No, I can't. No, I can't. Minus the whole bloody foot that I had to We're riding around and getting it. <laughs> okay, Mom, you can talk all you want on this one, okay? We're gonna talk about everything. She's driving, so she can't really talk, but... <laughs> I've got an injured foot. <laughs> well, I mean, like, look at the camera. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cleveland Metro Park. This is one of the favorite places of mine to go with my family and just watch the sunset or go meditate, practice some yoga, play some soccer. It's a really big park. Um, you can ride your bikes, rollerblade. There's just endless possibilities here. And I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the colors of the sky um, when I was watching the sunset. I want to share a journal entry with you guys. So it started with deep into the core of my soul's vibration. I want to share my spiritual experiences that I hope you can resonate with or learn from through my channels. Over the years, I've had awakenings, realizations of truth, and the circle of true life began within myself. As it all starts from within, we all deal with emotions, which at times can be blissful or painful emotionally and physically. It's the yin and yang, the balance of life. Our mind controls this human experience. Once you've awakened to the fact that you create your own reality through the energy of your consciousness, you begin to see that we are all connected. Life through your eye lens becomes clear. Our egos perceive life through duality. You start to see truth where you were once blinded. Thoughts you have of what you want and don't want start to manifest. Synchronicity plays its role whether with numbers, thoughts and actions, those out of the blue coincidences, or doing something that just feels right. If it feels like a sign, it is. There's a path to our purpose. Don't settle for what society thinks is right or common. Live a life that feels good on the inside, not looks good on the outside. Everything on the outside is a reflection of yourself. You go through those cycles for many years until you truly learn to let go, to find that alignment of unconditional love for yourself. It isn't about becoming anything or anyone. It's about unbecoming everything that isn't you, but a program, so you can be who you are meant to be in the first place. Being, not reacting to a single thing, not even your own thoughts, because where thoughts go, energy flows. It's not the yoga or the vegan lifestyle that makes you spiritual, though those are beautiful tools we use to connect with our higher self through body, mind, and soul. Those are also identities of the ego wanting to express itself. Don't make it out to be who you are like a trend. Who are we anyways? No one. We are one. Unified souls. All flowers grow through dirt. It's all a process of understanding. Be humble. If you perceive everything as a learning experience, you'll never have a bad day in your life. Mindfulness then becomes a state of awareness. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is never ending and the waves of life get stronger as you go. I'm here with you through the waves, the calm ones, and the strong ones too. To share knowledge, plant seeds, connect the dots, and create a positive lifestyle for myself and others is the mission. Always choosing to live in love, not fear. May your faith be bigger than any fear. Do what makes you feel the vibrations. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride on this wave of life. Life's a choice. Follow me down the rabbit hole. Thank you for tuning into my frequency, friends. Namaste, love and light. Peace.